What's up locals? My name is Ryan and this is Local Disc Golf. Today we're looking at the Paul Eulaberry compact cart from Zuka Carts. Super excited for this one. I reached out to Todd Kennedy from JK Discs here in Alberta uh, and asked him if we could borrow one for an unboxing and for a review. He was thrilled with the idea. So we're gonna do part of the review here in the studio. Then we're gonna head out to JK Discs, have a quick chat with Todd who uses a compact card as well. So we'll be asking him some questions about that. Um, let's not waste too much time. Let's get right into this one. Don't forget, I've always got time codes down in the description so you can jump to the part of the video that you you want to see don't forget to like and subscribe all right let's unbox this thing nice thing about azuka cart is they usually come fairly assembled gives you the uh, handle here and move this out of the way oh man this is sweet this up, I think inside are the wheels. Yep. One of my favorite features of this Paul Eulaberry cart are these awesome uh, white wheels. They look amazing. So um, I feel like it's a bit of a, a shout out to the classic golf cart. I feel like traditionally golf carts have had white wheels and I love that um, about this particular cart. I think it just looks awesome. Got the axle here and the the uh, white spacers. I think you can see those there. So it goes wheel, spacer, cart. And then on the other side, obviously, spacer, wheel and then the cat piece here hopefully you can see this here it just looks awesome in the white such a clean look truthfully for the sake of the review right now we can just kind of keep it low like that um, anyway just looks absolutely awesome we can bring in the other one here just as a Bit of a comparison to see the two side by side. Okay, so I didn't really finish the unboxing. You get these two sort of little Zuka utility pouches, which would probably normally slide into that shelf up top, um, keeping, you know, wallet, cell phone, sunscreen, whatever you needed. Uh, they're just little zipper pouches to uh, keep your stuff safe. Oh, and of course you get the uh, water bottle holders that clip onto the back. I know some people aren't much of a fan of these particular ones, but uh, I haven't had an issue with them yet. Um, they're not obviously the strongest, but I mean, they're serving the purpose for now. Maybe down the road, it's something that I upgrade, but you know, for now it's been working fine. Okay, so one thing I wanted to look at also was the compact cart comes with a really sort of simple storage system in it. Um, and then there's also a plastic and uh, wire piece that you can uh, pay for separately normally. But with the Paul Eulaberry Special Edition, it actually comes with that. So I wanted to do a quick comparison of an, how many discs we can fit into each, um, each setup. We'll just do a bit of a mix here. All right, so I don't know, loosely there, we've got about one, two, three, 16 in there right now. And then you can see that there is room up top for a few more. Grab a few hydrogens to throw up there. They're a bit of a bulkier putter just to give you an idea of uh, size in that. Um, probably a good disc to throw in on top because it's a bit rubbery, it's the Koi, um, and we can, probably sneak that up top there too. I mean, there's, you know, uh, definitely good good space in here. What did I say, 16? 18, 17, 18, 19, 20. You know, still room left there. And then the other piece to remember is that on the sides of this cart, you've got these big pouches on the side here where, you know, you could easily fit um, 
you know, easily fit a couple more. Um, and whatever's on one side is on the other. So you've definitely got room on both sides of this. You can see the nice sort of Eula Berry emblem there on the side as well. Um, so, you know, if discs are your priority, there's definitely room to get lots in here. So um, I got three on that side. That would be six. Um, on top of the 16, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6. Like, there's definitely no shortage of space if you're just trying to get discs into this cart. So now we'll actually take a look. We'll press pause for a minute. I'm going to keep all these discs here because we'll see if we can get the exact same amount in that I just had. Um, oh, and I guess I should grab three more that would have been on that side. So we'll just have basically everything we got into this cart with uh, this rack system, I mean, it's almost, it's almost comical. If we move this out of the way for a minute here to show you, you know, what we just fit into this cart. Like, that's a pretty good number of discs right there, I feel like. We're, you know, if you need more than that for your round, um, I mean, obviously we've got bigger bags and whatnot, but uh, that's definitely a good number to be able to get into such a small cart. All right, let's, uh, we'll take the Velcro piece out and we're gonna try the um, other piece there. We, hopefully you can see that okay still. All right, so I've got these three little uh, poles here and it also comes with these little side plastic pieces here. Uh, important thing to remember is when you're putting this uh, together, you've got to put it together inside the cart. So uh, I'll show you how to do that. We're going to basically have one of these pieces on the bottom there. We'll put the other two on the top. So we've got one, two, and three. Found this to be very straightforward, nice and simple as I say that. Thought it was going to be easy. No, it is. Um, all right, so we've got those three pieces there. Make sure to put the other rack piece on the side there. We're gonna kinda ease this down on a bit of an angle. Get that out nice and wide. There we go. And that's it. This setup now, instead of having the storage area be on the top with the um, previous sort of storage solution, uh, this is gonna set it up the opposite way so that your storage is actually on the bottom. We've got, now we've got room on the bottom to add a few extra discs. They do kinda need to go in on a little bit of an angle. Where's my koi? Seem to be a good option to have in there. Still a little bit of room there. And we've got basically three on that side, three on that side. Well, this is two actually. We, I think we actually, seems like we've got actually a little bit more room. I, I don't know that you'd fit one more in there. I guess we can try. Let's see what we got here. Um, I mean, it will hold an extra one, but you know, it does get to the point also where if they don't come in and out easily, are you really gonna use them? And you know, you, you probably do wanna have other things in this cart, but uh, definitely um, holds probably about the same amount. I guess the only advantage is that it puts your discs up a little bit higher um, in it. And I guess, you know, for me personally, I'd be probably keeping probably more of a, like a coat or a sweater or a windbreaker or something like that. I'd keep that in the bottom. I don't know I'd be keeping uh, this many discs, but I mean, it definitely holds uh, more than enough. Um, and there you go, that's it. Another point for making your decision on your Zuka cart is the seat height. Um, depending on how tall you are, that could 
uh, determine uh, the cart you're using. Um, so for the Zuka here, you know, we're looking at about 19 and three quarters to 20 inches um, off the ground. And for my own here, just under 23. So um, I'm about six foot two. So, you know, this is, this is a nice comfortable height for me. Um, in terms of the other one, it could be a big difference if, you know, if you sat on this and you found it too tall, obviously you're gonna wanna go something a little bit shorter, but ultimately that's not gonna be like the game changing feature either. You're probably making your decision based on the storage and what it holds, um, you know, the size in terms of what you can fit in your vehicle, um, you know, how portable you need to be. Um, and you know, that's probably gonna be the bigger just determining factor. But obviously if you're buying one for a seat, you know, the seat needs to, needs to suit you too. It needs to be a comfortable height to sit on for sure. Having done the unboxing, uh, putting it together, talking a little bit about disc storage as well as the seat height, uh, we're gonna head now over to Strathmore to catch up with my friend Todd, talk a little bit about um, this cart and uh, why he uses a compact cart. Uh, let's head there now. One thing that I love about the compact cart, and it will show up really nicely on this uh, Eulaberry one, is that on the top you have this grip right here and that means that if you are on a course where you've got to get over some logs or there's some rocky sections that it's just not going to work with uh, this handle is game changing it makes this cart um, you know much more versatile now i can still grab my transit i can still lift it up and carry it over something that's not to say it's not but this is like one quick handle nice easy to grab very quick to lift it up and because it doesn't hold uh, maybe quite as much. This is a lighter, smaller one, uh, not for, not just for on the course, but even like loading in and out of the car. Uh, this one is great and the handle is such a nice feature. This one and the disc golf cart both have the handle on top, which is a great feature uh, that makes these really easy to maneuver if there is a difficult section of the course where, you know, maybe otherwise I'm going, well, it's a bit tricky with mine. Maybe I'll bring my backpack that day. This gives you that uh, flexibility for sure. Um, what else can I say? It's a beautiful cart and if you're a fan of Paul Eulaberry, this is one way to, you know, support his brand. Let's get to Todd on. I want to talk a little bit about what it's like with the compact cart and what led him to the decision to go with that cart. So. All right, so uh, wrapping up this review, um, we've got uh, Todd Kennedy here today, uh, the owner of JK Discs, and we're super excited to be doing this review. Uh, you said you've got about five of them right now? Yep, there's five left right now, yeah. Todd, you use a compact cart. This is actually your compact cart right here. It is. Um, what what led you to go with the compact cart versus some of the other ones? There's you know, the, there's the disc golf cart, they came with the transit. Uh, this is the sort of smaller one. Was that part of the decision for you? You know, the reason I like it the most is it's a really good spot to sit on. I find the other carts are just a little too tall for me. Too tall. And this one sits nice. And it also fits in my car great. Right. Right? So sure. I love this cart. And I don't really need to take 50 discs with me. Well, and we realized too when we were doing the review that, you know, with that rack in there, you've got enough room underneath. You've got enough room, you know, on the sides. If, if, if getting discs into your cart is your main thing, like you don't carry a lot of else, you just want to get your discs there uh, between the side pockets, underneath. Uh, there's so much space really on here. Not to mention if you're taking advantage of like a putter, uh, pocket like this one um, So the fit was nice, you know, I talked earlier about the handle too um, If you're ever on a course where it's you got to get over a log or something like that piece the, of cake just the maneuverability yeah. of it is just amazing So it's a fabulously designed court cart for sure Definitely well, and I, I ended up only going a little bit larger because I've got a young family and I know there's gonna be days where we're gonna have lunches to carry and extra discs to carry. So oh, yeah. that went into my decision. I, I bought my cart from Todd and I, I feel like there was probably hours of his life were spent on answering my questions. At um, least. At least. I, I was so through... glad to finally get him out of my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I went through the compact cart, the backpack cart. I, went, like, I think I went through everyone and he was, he's amazing. So if you ever have any questions, you know, please message him uh, and bother him as much as I did. Um, no, but uh, the Facebook page as well, uh, where do you do most of your communication with answering questions and that? Is it the email or Facebook? A email bit of both? or either is good. So jkdisc.com is a great place to start. Uh, but the Facebook page, JKDIS, is awesome. And of course, Todd at jkdisc.com is also a really good way to get a hold of me. Fantastic. 
So be sure to check out uh, JK Discs. Um, and if you're looking for the uh, special edition Eulaberry cart, Right now, I can't guarantee when you're watching this video, but uh, there are some still in stock with him. Now, if you are in the United States, we do need to mention that these carts only ship in Canada. <laughs> there is um, kind of rules about the shipping in that, so uh, you do need to be can a Canadian citizen or have a Canadian address to have this shipped too. Is that correct? That's right. Want to make perfect. sure I get that right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, celebrating local communities all over. This is local disc golf. This is local. We are local.